the mirror maze. Materials. You need the sheet of paper with the start and end point labeled. You'll need three mirrors. Protractor. Straight edge. A few colors of colored pencil. And finally, only for the last step, laser. Your objective is to send a laser beam through the start and end points, reflecting off of a minimum of three mirrors, without testing it until the last step. Your choice completely up to you where to place the mirror. I've chosen to place my first mirror here along this line. So I place the mirror, put a few marks on the front edge, then used a straight edge or protractor to draw the front edge of the mirror. My laser line can go through at any angle through the start point. So I'm just going to choose because this is the first mirror choose an arbitrary angle to pass through the start point, through this line, and to approach the mirror. Where will this reflect? Bring in your protractor. Line it up. The incident light ray and the mirror form a vertex inside the crosshairs here. Measure this angle. From the normal, which is 90 degrees, this is approximately 29 degrees. The incident ray will reflect at the same angle on the opposite side of the normal here. Approximately 29 degrees. Make a mark here. Bring in my straight edge. Connect the reflected line and the vertex of the incident ray and the mirror. And then for the sake of having all of my measurements on this paper, you do need to recreate this step. This is the incident ray. labeled with an incoming arrow. This is a reflected ray. Labeled with an outbound arrow. This line here is your normal. The incident angle was 29 degrees. So the reflected angle will also be 29 degrees. Because we're in the habit of labeling everything, let's go ahead and also label the mirror. Sounds good. I'll choose an arbitrary place to place the mirror somewhere where this reflected line is going to eventually extend to. Now remember, I have to pass through a minimum of three mirrors. I've only passed through one so far. This reflected line will come down here somewhere. Let's make this interesting. Place the mirror somewhere along here. So you look at where this incoming ray will come. This will bounce off in this direction. Here's my second mirror. Process repeats. We need to find where that reflected ray off of the first mirror would be incident to the second. Reflected ray, further down the line, becomes an incident ray. A 
this label a normal and measure the incident angle. 16 degrees here to here, 16 in the other direction. Use the straight edge to connect both of these lines I've just created. There's a reflected ray, a normal, Let's label that the incident ray came in at 16 degrees. The reflected ray left the mirror at 16 degrees. Now comes the only mirror placement in this entire process that, that must be precise. You need to plan this out. Somehow I need a ray of light to pass to this end point here and it's currently headed in this direction. I know that I'm going to want to mirror somewhere, reflective side here, somewhere up in this area. How can I figure out the angle to place this mirror at to force the light to reflect through this line? That I'll leave to you.